Okay, a line that goes through negative three, negative seven, and has a slope of zero, leave in point slope. Well, you can take a little bit of a shortcut on this question, but I'll point the shortcut out to you at the end. Like the last question that you guys asked, if you know what point slope form is, plug the y value in here, plug the x value in here, and you're subtracting each of those, so that's gonna change what it looks like the sign is, and then plug the slope in there. So it's like they gave you three numbers that you need for point slope. Now, technically, zero times anything becomes zero. And then I would go ahead and subtract this over. And the shortcut that you could have taken, if you realize this, and it's okay not to take the shortcut on this question, although I think it is still helpful. Really, as soon as you see this, the only type of line that has a slope of zero is a horizontal line. And the equation of a horizontal line is always y equals a number. So to go through these points, it has to go through that y value. So a visual that if it has to go through negative 3, negative 7, and it has to be a horizontal line, that would have to be y equals negative 7.